Hi Libra, this is going to be your 2022 forecast for love, romance, and relationships. It is going to be general, so please keep that in mind. About a month ago, I uploaded your general 2022 forecast, and it was very positive. Next year um, seems like it's going to be a really great year for you. So you may want to check that out if you haven't taken a look at that video just yet. Um, you know, I've been doing these forecasts since I started the channel a few years ago, but this year I was inspired to offer these as private readings. And so they are, are, are available on my website. You can personalize it to do a general um, love, career, or all of the above. It's really up to you. All you have to do is just leave me a note in the um in the comments section when booking. Um, so I'm gonna pen a comment down below with a link to my website. You can just click on that, go to online booking. You can also sign up to receive my newsletter if you're interested in that. And you guys, I did wanna mention that my one hour services are now 122 versus 166. That is a huge discount. I'm not sure how long I'm gonna keep that pricing in place maybe through the end of the year, maybe not. So if you'd like to take advantage of that, please um, visit my website. I'm also going to include links to my social media accounts on Instagram and Facebook if you want to connect with me there. And then lastly, I did want to mention that um, the majority of the channels, <laughs> the majority of the channels, the majority of the decks that I use on the channel are listed in the description box. And there is a link next to each one that will direct you to my Amazon store if you are interested in browsing those. All right. So Libra, from the Oracle of the Seven Energies, we've got birds of a feather. And what this is saying to me is that you are going to meet somebody next year. Somebody is coming in for you and you guys are just going to click like immediately um you're gonna it's gonna feel like you are you know long lost friends um you could have potentially spent another lifetime with this person um that's one scenario that is coming through um but you are just gonna click it's gonna be so effortless um I am just seeing this vision of the two of you just talking nonstop for hours and hours and hours. Like there's so much that you want to share with each other. Um, you're gonna have a very uh, similar philosophy about life, um, belief systems, um, lifestyle. Um, yeah, you're gonna be a lot alike. And it's, like I said, it's just gonna be effortless. Um, so I feel like you're going to start off, um, you may be introduced by some acquaintances, something like that. I don't know. We'll, we'll get more information potentially throughout the reading. But um, what I'm feeling like is you may be introduced um, by some mutual friends or it could be that you meet at a community event, something like that. So you begin as friends, um, but then it's gonna it's gonna deepen, and I feel like it's gonna progress um, pretty quickly. Really, depending on you, I feel like you're in the driver's seat. Now, the next card that we're getting is from the Energy Oracle deck. It is the Six Chakra Archangel Metatron, and so I am just feeling that um, both of you are gonna be highly intuitive, and you may be able to communicate somewhat without even speaking to each other. Um, you just know what the other is feeling. Um, you know, it's like that telepathic communication. Um, so it's there's going to be an ease of just um, being together, um, which is quite beautiful. And you may feel like your intuition is heightened when you're around this person, and they may feel the same way about you. From the um, Akashic Tarot, this is a very different deck, you guys. Um, so it's not an exact translation. We got the King of Roses, and I love this. This 
um, would be like the King of Cups in the traditional tarot. Um, just because it's a king does not mean it's a man. So just take what resonates for your situation. I've got men, I've got women, I've got same sex and opposite sex couples that watch um, these videos. So just, you know, apply it as it fits. This is a very tender hearted, loving, sensitive, kind, compassionate, loyal person. Um, this is someone that really wants to connect with people on a deep level. Um, very wise, um, very intuitive, has so much wisdom. Um, so it's like a gentle soul. It's a very, very gentle soul, you guys. Um, beautiful, beautiful energy. Now, we are going to take a look at the... Um, year by quarter. So we're looking at January through March. And from the Quantum Oracle, we've got the Loving Woman. And to me, this is like the Queen of Cups, which is showing up later in the reading. Um, so yeah, this is like the Queen of Cups. It could also be the Queen of Pentacles. But the way I'm seeing this is it's a match, okay? Match made in heaven, potentially. Um, two very tender-hearted, loving people. Now, with the loving woman, um, Libra, this could be your energy or the other person's energy. I feel like it's your energy. Um, I feel like this is you really opening up to um, love to being in a relationship. You may have taken some time off of from relationships. Um, you may have been healing from something from your past, but this is you really opening up your heart um, to be in connection with others and a potentially romantic situation. Um, you know, when I did the 2021 forecast, you guys, there were two themes coming through karma releasing and heart awakening. And what I'm feeling for you is you may have been going through a karmic cycle. We all have been. You're closing that out. And by the time next year rolls around, it's like, any, um, you know, any walls that you've built up, those are going to come crumbling down. Um, you're going to be leading with your heart, um, living through your heart space and really opening up to inviting a potential partner into your life. So let's see what the tarot says. This is for January, February, and March. Wow. Yeah, we've got the judgment card. I love this. This is beautiful. What a way to start the year. Um, judgment, um, this is about a decision. It's about doing things differently. I feel like you're going to be on a completely different trajectory, a completely different path. Um, this is the card um, of a spiritual awakening. It's a review of how you've lived your life, the choices you've made. Uh, it's the choice to do things differently, to go down a new path. Um, what I'm really feeling here is that for the majority of the people that watch my channel, um, you know, I feel like you've already gone through a spiritual awakening. And if you haven't, then this is you potentially going through your awakening. Now, if you have gone through your spiritual awakening, this is you going through a spiritual ascension. So it is a leveling up. It's it's moving in to that next a chapter of your life. Um, and it's going to be a, a kinder, more compassionate you. Not to say that you weren't kind and compassionate before, um, but yeah, this is really um, living life um, by following your heart, really following your heart in love and, you know, just in general, the beautiful energies. So what else do we need to know? Yeah, 
Okay, um, the Ten of Swords. So this is an ending. And this is exactly what I was saying about the karmic cycle ending. So yes, this does represent the end. Um, so it's like there's an ending that happens and this is probably actually going to come through this year is what i'm sensing so the ending comes through um it's closing out a chapter and then this judgment energy comes in um as you release whatever you experienced in the past um, then you will be able to level up. You go through this ascension. Um, everything is sort of rewritten and um, you, uh, you release those things that aren't serving you. you there's, there's a lot of change internally and then it manifests as change externally. So it's a huge shift that happens first internally and then it, um, it changes things in your outer world. So that's really, really cool. Um, I actually like to see endings coming through and I don't feel like this is anything bad that's going to happen. This is something that's needed to be released for quite some time. And it's, you know, it, it's a process. Um, you could have felt betrayed by someone um, something like that. But yeah, it's a process and this ending is complete. Oh my gosh, I love it. We've got the Ace of Wands. And so we've got a 10 and then we've got an Ace. Um, I love it. Um, an ending and a new beginning. And this is a card also of a spiritual awakening. So I do feel like um, many of you are going through a spiritual ascension, um, potentially this ending. Um, it's almost like there's a realization with the judgment card. Um, there's a realization of why you had to experience what you had to experience. And this is what kind of wakes you up in a sense. It's an aha moment. Um, it's like, oh, I finally understand. Okay. And when you come to that understanding, that is when you are ready to move on. You are able to move on because you, um, you know, when we don't have answers, when we're not clear about something, um, it's, it's difficult to move on from it until we do have a deeper understanding of the whys, the hows, the whats all of that and so you move into this deeper understanding it allows you to move on so we've got message in a bottle i love this card this is from the wisdom oracle deck um, this is uh, April, May, and June, you guys. And so this is about communication, communication that is coming in for you. And it could be from this person um, is kind of what I'm feeling because this is a love reading and my cards are falling all over, you guys. Hang on. So this is some sort of communication that is coming in from this person. This is really interesting. And we've got three queens. This is so strange. This has never happened before. We've got three queens, the queen of swords, the queen of cups, the queen of wands. And again, this is energy. Um, I feel like, I feel like this is your energy, Libra, because we got the the queen, um, the loving woman, and we've got the queen of water. <clears throat> and the king of roses is showing up as a person coming in. So yeah, I feel like all these queens represent you. And this is clarifying the message in a bottle. What's coming through for me? 
you know, I only pulled three cards. If I would have pulled four, I probably would have gotten all four queens. And what I'm really sensing from this is that the communication that's going to be coming in for you from this person is that you are all they've ever wanted. You're all they've ever dreamed of. You are the ideal person for them. Um, it's, it's like you're the one. You are very well balanced. You have all the qualities that they admire. You're the whole package. You are the whole package. That's the message. That is the message that's coming in. This is something that they're going to communicate to you. You're the whole package. Very interesting. So let's move on to the summer months. We're going to look at July, August, and September. We've got the Queen of Water. So this is the Queen of Cups. And this says tender hearted empathic, patient, loving, and this says relationships develop to a new level, trust your intuition. And so this would be like the king and the queen of cups. So these are divine counterparts. Um, this is at the second half of the year as we move into summer. So let's see what's coming through. Okay, so this person's going to be communicating with you um, in the springtime. Um, you guys are, you know, getting closer. Um, I feel like they really want to be with you, but it may be very triggering. Um, it may bring up some stuff because we've got the Five of Swords, and this indicates, um, you know, like mental conflict. Um, being unsure. Um, it's a battle. It's it's a battle that's raging. Um, yeah, I just feel like you're going to be very, very triggered by this person um, because they really do want to be with you, but you're unsure. Um, you did close out something at the beginning of the year, but I feel like um, those memories, those feelings, those thoughts um, resurface in a sense. And then we've got the Four of Swords. So you will recover from it. You will get over it. This is something temporary. Then we've got the Chariot. And the Chariot comes after the Lovers, which is a decision in love. Now, the Chariot represents making progress, moving forward, toward success and victory. And the Queen of Water says relationships develop to a new level. Um, so what I'm sensing is there is going to be a little bit of back and forth with this person. Um, and it simply has to do with you and your mindset and where you're at. Um, on your healing journey. And you guys, this could be vice versa as well. Um, but yeah, it's like you meet them, um, very attracted, very connected, um, but you are really trying to release something from the past. Then they come in with communication that you're the whole package. Um, they really want to be with you. They really want to explore something with you. Um, and you're feeling unready, unsure, and it just brings up, um, kind of throws you into a state of imbalance and turmoil. Inner turmoil is what I'm feeling. Um, but you are going to get over it. You're going to decide to move forward with them. Okay. Um, so yeah, but it's going to be, yeah, it's going to be a little, a little dicey is what I'm feeling. So we get to the end of the year, which is October, November, and December, and we've got the Nine of Raphael. This is the Nine of Cups, and this says, make a wish, dreams become reality, a joyful time of life. So I feel like by the time 
the end of the year rolls around, um, you are probably going to be happily in love. But it's going to take a little bit to get there. It's There are some things to, to get through before you can get there. Ooh, we've got the Empress. I love it. This is about a new beginning, you guys. Um, this is the Divine Feminine. Um, so the way I am reading this energy, it's um, all about moving into the space of being open to receive, okay? That's what the Divine Feminine represents. Um, she is the Awakened Feminine, um, and it's a very receptive energy. Um, and for the gentlemen that are watching, we all have feminine and masculine energies within us. And, you know, even the guys, it's like, if we are not um, balanced in those energies, then how can we receive? If you're in your masculine energy all the time, that's about taking action, doing. Um, you got to step back and, you know, be open to receiving. And this is exactly where you're going to be by the end of the year. And we've got the Seven of Cups. And I love this depiction because this girl is holding on to this kite string and her feet are off the ground. Um, it's almost like she's walking on cloud nine. And this is kind of what I'm feeling. Um, is it's a very dreamy energy and you know this is about options and it's about making a wise choice um i feel like by the end of the year you are going to fully choose to be with this person and you're going to be thrilled they're going to be thrilled there's going to be a lot to celebrate it's going to bring in a lot of happiness for both of you um and then, you know, we've got the Seven of Wands. And this is an energy of standing your ground. It's like what I'm really sensing from this is that you, ooh, at the bottom of the deck, we've got the Three of Cups celebrations. Um, what I'm feeling from the Seven of Wands is that you are standing your ground. You know that you deserve this. You know that you want this. Um, you really are open to receiving all this beautiful bounty that's coming in for you. You are open to love um, and you are not going to go back to this place when where you are in a mental battle, um, inner conflict. It's like you're really done with that. Um, you want uh, to experience more ease in relationships and in life in general. So I just want to clarify. So we've got two sevens and, um, you know, seven is a very spiritual number, you guys. Very, very spiritual number. And then clarifying the seven of wands. We've got the Sun card, we've got the Ten of Cups, and we've got the Queen of Cups again. So the Queen of Cups has shown up like three, one, two, three, four times, you guys, four times the Queen of Cups, Ten of Cups. Um, so clarifying the Nine of Cups is a Ten of Cups. Um, so I just feel like, yeah, you're going to end the year on a high note, um, happy in love, um, just experiencing the world in a completely different way. So Libra, I hope that you enjoyed this reading. Thank you so much for joining me today. And please like, share, subscribe, hit the little bell to be notified when I upload new content. And I am sending you guys lots of love as you continue on your journey. Bye-bye.